So hey, how y'all doing? It's me, Jillian, the Conscious Cougar. Here, it's always about wisdom, health, and beauty, by any means necessary. Absolutely. So I want to tell you, you know, I've been on my weight release journey <laughs> since I was nine. <laughs> I mean, for a long time. Um, I am finally as fat as I thought I was back when I was in high school. And when I was in high school, I wasn't fat, but I felt like I was this fat. I'm for sure now, you know. I used the F word with my doctor today because, first of all, I don't use the F word. I don't, I don't say that. I was like, oh, how sweet, because he's not F word, you know. He's thin, healthy, and whatnot, really controlling his weight. And I'm like, the last two years that I've seen him for my physical, I'm like, what the hell? So, anyway, um, I want to share something. You know, or you may not know, I don't know if you know, I have been really not bringing it here um, as a thing, but I, like, relaunched my weight release effort in a major, major self-commitment way on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. And I have started vlogging that, but I intend to present it all at once. I intend to not F around, but to really fully make a difference so that you can see progress in the video. You know, you can see, whoa, another 10 pounds. Whoa, another 10 pounds. Another 10 pounds. I'm making my very own 600 pound life documentary thing. Although I've never been 600 pounds, in, thank you, God. That's what I want to talk about, though. I watch my 600 pound life every day. I do it for inspiration, not motivation, inspiration. I already have motivation. You know, my big whys, why am I doing it at all? To elongate my life, to be here for my family, to be here for myself, to enjoy life while I'm here, to have fun. Hey, you know, have a good time. Okay, so look, 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 let me just say, I'm watching this thing every day, two episodes in the morning, at least two episodes at night, every single day. And what is interesting to me, so I was telling my doctor about this today, and he's like, what do you get from that? And what I get, one of the biggest things are a lot of takeaways, a lot of takeaways. Every day, there's something for me to take away to help me get back in alignment with what needs to be done in order to do this. The reason that it's taken me all this time, is, you know, what they're going through is what I go through. Granted, they have, God bless them, five, six, seven, sometimes. I mean, this one guy was nearly a thousand pounds. You know, I only, I'm working, with, I need to lose like 87-ish pounds. Call it a hundred. That's me right now. So it's nothing compared to what they're dealing with. And their stories go on for years. When they talk about, you know, I had my weight loss surgery 11 years ago. And I'm working on the last 100, I've lost 458 pounds, you know what I mean? It's taken all that time to do it. Um, and then they got the last 100 to go and the struggle that happens. And and I listen and I hear them when they um, are plateauing. Like a, a bunch of times I have said um, that my personal body, my body, does not do what other bodies do um, in terms of weight loss. Like I've said, if I don't work out, nothing's going to happen. It doesn't matter how little I eat. I can eat way less than a thousand calories a day. It will not shrink at all. I will stay the same weight if I don't work out. So Dr. Now would have said to me, Chilean, that's not true. You're playing games. <laughs> You're not acknowledging that you're overeating, you know? It's simple math. I mentioned that to my doctor today. He's like, okay, yeah. Um, there's that. There's the, the, the cheating, thinking it's not, you know, that you can balance it out with some working out. When you get 
how many steps it would take to literally counter just the burger, not to mention the fries and whatever else you put with it. Like 10,000 steps to counter the burger. 10,000 steps is 500 calories. I enjoy watching them take on goals to lose like 30 pounds a month and do it. Um, and then a bunch who've taken on goals for 20 pounds a month, or he'll say to them, lose 15 pounds this month, and then we'll consider your excess skin removal surgery thing, you know? It also helps me to be grateful for where I am and what I am. Um, and it also lets me know that it is possible. If they can do it, I can do it. And I have seen the ones who um, don't make it. You know, I forget how long this one lady, she was well over five, 600, well over 600 calories. I mean, pounds. And, um, oh my God, she was in such denial. And the show, that episode ended with her still being well over 600 pounds. So I don't even know if she's still here right now. And then if you just do what you're supposed to do. So I'm getting that, you know, the more protein I have, the less I crave carbs. So I am doing that. I also just learned today about carbs versus net carbs. So when I look at the packaging, the back of something, um, and see how many carbs are in there. So say it says um, like 20 carbohydrates. Okay. Um, but it says 10 fiber. So now you get to subtract the 10 from the 20. And now the carbs that you are concerned about are 10 grams instead of 20, because 10 of them came from fiber and the fiber is good. So those are good carbs. The other carbs are messed up carbs. Yeah, I learned that today. So I'm going to be reading because I only want to get to five, 50 um, bad carbs maximum per day. That's that story. So yeah, just uh, really enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. And in the last couple of weeks, I have seen some progress on the scale. Um, like in the last week, it was like two or three pounds. A uh, little, little up and downish, but about three pounds off. And uh, the previous week, um, about three all together since New Year's Eve, it's only been about 10. But um, I feel more optimistic now. And I feel more steady now about it. And I still feel beautiful and sexy and amazing now, right now, no matter what. So there's that. Just wanted to pass along and share the vibe. And I hope that you're doing well on your journey. Check out my 600 pound life dude such good stuff to learn and to make you feel like you're not alone if they can do it you can do it okay we got this have a great day